Gerardo El Tata Martino became head coach of the Mexican national team in January earlier this year. With the end of 2019 just around the corner and with Mexico playing their last game against Bermuda, I thought it would be a lot of fun to look back and see how Martino has done in his first year as Mexico's head coach. So how has Martino done since taking over as head coach? Well this year he coached Mexico in 17 games total. And of those 17 games he won 15. This gives Martino an 88% win ratio which is quite impressive. For comparison, Mexico's previous head coach, Juan Carlos Osorio, had a record of 13 wins, 3 draws, and 1 loss in his first 17 games as Mexico's head coach. This meant Osorio's win ratio was 76% compared to Martino's 88%. But only looking at this stat does not give us the whole picture. And I just want to take a moment here and if you're enjoying the video, consider giving us a like as it helps support the channel. And just a reminder to watch until the end of the video for an update on our jersey giveaway. Now, back to the show. Osorio coached the Mexican national team for a total of 43 games. Now let's have a look at some key stats and then compare them to Mexico now under Martino. Under Osorio, Mexico's offense averaged 1.4 goals per game and 5 shots on target. Defensively, they conceded 0.9 goals per game and allowed 4 shots on target to opponents. With Martino as head coach, Mexico now averages 2.8 goals per game and 7 shots on target, while defensively conceding 1 goal per game and allowing 3 shots on target to opponents. Right away we can see Mexico's offense has greatly improved under Martino. In fact, twice as many goals on average compared to Mexico under Osorio, to be exact. And while Mexico still are virtually identical under the two coaches conceding an average of a goal a game, it is worth mentioning that Mexico's defense has tightened up, allowing half as many shots towards their keeper. Now I do want to point out that these averages are based off of Osorio's full 43 games as head coach. So we do have to keep in mind he coached more games and against stronger opponents as well. But I thought it would still be fun to compare these stats because I can update them over time so that we can see how Mexico's performance changes in the future. So what has Martino changed that has led to so many more goals and more wins for the Mexican national team? Well see, here's the thing. Under Osorio, he would switch up the formations and tactics based on what he expected Mexico's opponent to do on any given day. On the contrary, under Martino, Mexico has played over 90% of their games in the 4-3-3 formation. The players know where they need to be and what is expected of them. Another major difference is that Martino plays a lot more younger players, whereas Osorio was not willing to take that risk. How many times do you all remember seeing Mexico line up with Rafa Marquez as captain in the defense? My point exactly. And this is something I talked about in my last video because I applaud Martino for giving the younger players a chance. The younger these guys can get international caps under their belts, the better they will be over the long run in their career. Then maybe someday Mexico won't have to play their veterans who are well into their 30s, even late 30s. Instead, we will have the next group of youngsters who are eagerly waiting to prove themselves and willing to fight for those top spots. That's exactly what Mexico needs. Thank you to everyone who has made it until the end of the video, and I just want to give y'all an update on the giveaway as promised. I have tallied up the comments as of the time of this recording, and I just wanted to provide you the subscribers who are in the top three of the contest right now. We definitely have some changes here compared to last week's video. In first place right now is Ivan Palacios with 14 comments. Right behind him though is Frank Espinoza with 13. And in third place, Jasmine sitting at 10 commons total for the moment. It is a very close race and remember that you have until this Sunday, which is December the 15th, so do not let up. I will count the total of likes and comments and I will announce the winner in next week's video where we analyze El Clasico. 
Exciting stuff coming to the channel, so subscribe if you haven't already and drop a comment below of how you think Mexico will do in 2020. Do you think they'll just continue to steamroll past the teams in the CONCACAF? Or do you think they'll finally be able to test themselves against the top 10 of the world? Don't miss out on the giveaway next week and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.